Let's take a look at using the HP Prime graphing calculator to find a sample size to estimate a population mean. Now here's our formula. N is equal to our Z score times sigma divided by E all of it squared. And um, let's look at a problem. Okay, ages of students at a college follow a let me get my tablet up here. Okay. Follow a normal distribution. If population standard deviation is 1.5. So sigma is 1.5, and we want to estimate the mean within two years. So they're telling us that E is 2. Anytime they get to see the within, they're talking about E. What should the sample size be, assuming we want 95% confidence? Uh, so we've got 95% confidence. What that means is we've got 0.95 in the middle. And if we've got 95% in the middle, that means that we're going to have 5% split into the tails. So this will be 0.025, and this will be 0.025. Now remember our formula was this. So we're given sigma, we're given E. You have to be given those in these problems. Um, this is what we need to find. This value right here is your Z alpha divided by 2. That's alpha, not 2 divided by 2. Um, so that's the, the value we need. And that's the part the calculator can give to us. Okay. Well, this um, is based upon the area to the left. So we're trying to find this value right here. The area to the left, you add up all of this. So 0 0.025 plus 0 0.95 is 0 0.975. So I'll come over to my HP Prime calculator. And it doesn't matter what you're in. Um, I'll go down to 61 var and press enter. Um, but whatever you're in, you can even actually, I think, do it from the main menu here. But we want to go press the home button. And um, then you get over to here. And bring this over here. We're trying to find this value right here. So if I um, press my toolbox here, and you want your first option selected, math. So if you've got... Um, uh, Try it again. Okay, so if I press the um, toolbox, if you got app selected here, you want to be over underneath map option. I guess you can't use your arrow keys, you have to actually click these. Okay, then we want to choose probability. So you can down arrow to it uh, and select it, or you, I believe you can choose the five. I'm definitely not an expert on HP Prime. Then we want to choose uh, inverse. Let me do 7 to see if it, yeah, it does choose it. And we want to choose normal. So our first one. Now, um, we're going to enter in the area to the left, which we said is 0.975. So 0.975. And then press enter. Now, how many places do you round it to? I have no clue. Um, answers out of the book are either based upon two decimal places or three decimal places. They're based upon uh, looking it up in the tables in a book. Um, to be on the safe side, you could go with uh, three, but I'll do two here, because this one I actually know from the book is 1.96. Okay, so 1.96, and then times sigma, which was 1.5, divided by E, which is two. Now let's plug this in and see what we get. So I do a beginning parentheses. I'll put the closing parentheses. And then we got 1.96 times 1.5 divided by, and notice how it creates my fraction for me here. So I got 2 there. And then I'll press my right arrow key to get it out of. Actually, I'll press one time to get it out of the fraction, one more time to get it out of the parentheses. And then I push my x squared and press enter. Now you always round up. Uh, we got 2.1609, so our answer would be n is equal to 3. Now, I made these numbers up, so you come up with weird results like this, don't don't panic uh, on my example. So that tells us we need to sample three individuals. Now, instead of uh, doing it separate like that, what you could do is do your parentheses, and then you're going to, instead of typing in 1.96, you'll actually put in this function. So if I choose my toolbox... Choose 5 for probability, choose 7 for inverse, and choose uh, 1 for normal. 
and then I put in 0.975, the area to the left. I want a right arrow to get it out of the uh, normal D, I, C, D, F function times, that's a mouthful, uh, 1.5. That's this right here. Divided by, and I'll put 2 in the, the denominator. Right arrow to get it out of the fraction. Right arrow one more time to get it out of the parentheses. And then I push my X squared and press enter. Now, notice we get slightly different results. That was 2.1609. This is 2.1608. Um, not much of a difference on this one. Realize that this is not rounding at all. This is taking all the decimal places. So when you do it in this manner, this will always be a more accurate answer. But it may not match your books. Um, so that's a little bit of a confusing on that part. But again, we always round up, uh, which means whatever decimal places you have, you always go to the next whole number. So n is equal to 3. In this video, we took a look at how to find uh, the sample size for a population mean on an HP uh, Prime graphing calculator. Unfortunately, there's no function that gives it to you directly, um, but you can uh, easily, relatively easily find it in this manner. Now push my apps button to go back to my application library.